So I got to work this morning at 10.30 a.m., okay? And I need a cigarette for this story. Um, and it was like the longest day ever. And to top it all off, I happened to... Um, there's this woman I work with named Jane. Uh, she's She's got to be like 85 years old at this point. She probably should have retired, you know, like 20 years ago. Um, but maybe she was bored uh, at home talking to her cats, so she continues on. Um, but very nice lady, like I said. And uh, anyway, though, she talks real slow and kind of deep, and it takes a while to get things out of her. Uh, so I made the mistake at the end of the day, with five minutes left of the work shift, um, I'm asking her how her night was. And so she answers me eventually. And it goes like this. Well, Dylan, I... And I'm like, you know, uh, I don't mean to be rude or anything, but now the clock's ticking here. And, uh, you know, I kind of got to go home where I live. And uh, I don't get paid for anything after, you know, 1030. So can you just please try to speed this along? And she's like, okay. Uh, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got to go. Uh, it's time to punch out. Can you just um, email me or text me the rest of this story later? Um, I hope you're doing well and everything. And I I'd love to read it. Uh, just please, uh, I, I have to leave immediately. And um, so then I heard, fuck you all the way, all the way as I was, you know, running to my car to get the hell away from her. <laughs> so anyway, she's a very nice lady and uh, I pissed her off because I do that a lot. Uh, just being honest, you know. I don't really have much of a filter going on. Um, and you shouldn't either. You know, show people respect and be nice, of course. But there are times where you get frustrated and flustered. And at the end of the workday is not a good time to start a conversation, I think, with anybody. Um, unless it's a stripper. Um, so basically, you know, pretty much everyone in the world. So except strippers. Uh, yeah, so she won't be happy with me uh, the next day, I'm sure. And she won't talk to me. And I can't say that that's a bad thing, though, because I am, you know, I'm on the clock. I only have like eight hours a day to, to do the work I have to do. So uh, any conversation started with her might go to like uh, 2021, possibly. And, you know, who has time for that? So sorry if I offended her. And uh, I'll, I'll apologize to her later, but not in person. I'll, I'll text her. I'll email her. Something like that. Something she should have done to me. So basically. So, you know, you have these crazy coworkers sometimes in life. Uh, sometimes you get along with them, sometimes you don't. Uh, I like to think of all of us as a, as a fun group of mutants um, that basically just kind of crawled out of a sewer and then were placed together in a holding area and they, they force us to do these uh, terrible, meaning, meaningless jobs. Yeah. And uh, we work together well and I get a lot of stories out of it and uh, it's very fun. Well, fun's probably not the right word. Funny. Overall, you know, you can look back and laugh at the end of the day like I'm doing now. Just talking to myself, which is what I do. This is what this is called, talking to myself uh, with Dylan Stevens, because that's me. And if you weren't here listening, I'd still be doing the same thing. So I thought, why not roll the camera? And if anyone listens and likes it, that's cool. And if they don't, that's cool too, because it's, I still have the voices in my head. And I'm still going to talk to me. So that's my story for today. And... Uh, Hope you enjoyed this, all one of you. Um, or maybe it's just me. So, again, talking to me. And uh, I'll be back with another one soon. And it's getting pretty smoky in here. I better uh, you know, turn on my vehicle and get out of this parking lot I'm in because I just had lunch. And it was Brazilian. And there was chimichurri. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to need a bathroom soon. So, thank you for listening. Dylan. <laughs>